Also, anger. Right? Yeah. What is underneath anger? Fear. Fear, yeah, usually. But there's, there can be another form of anger, which I, I like to call sacred fire. And what's underneath that is care. Ferocious care. You know, and the willingness to stand up against injustice and all the rest of it. And we need that, especially as men. So this is just one thing that we as men have lost touch with. You see, this this whole kind of sense of anger is is a is a is a negative. You know that intensity of the anger and that emotion is we can't go there. We can't allow that as men, because of course the fear is that we'll be macho jerks, macho dominating. You know, men. How you know how we've seen a lot of that. We don't want to be like that, do we? Because we're sensitive guys. You know. But in that process of becoming big-hearted, sensitive men, we often deny these kind of energies mm -hmm. that, are, that are innate, you know, and, and needed, desperately needed. Yes, yes. It's to do with being the warrior, yeah. the warrior energy. We did a, um, we had our celebration. You were here, right? Yeah. So... For those of you that weren't, which is most of you, we had a celebration as we do every year recently. And the men, we did a performance and we all dressed up as warriors. It was a lot of fun. It was amazing. We had capes and black underpants. I had golden underpants because I was the king. <laughs> but I had a king and everyone. We were... So we enacted this play. And of course, it was, it was very humorous. In, in, a, in a certain way, but also we were enacting something very real about what we're discovering as men, uh, which is bringing this warrior, you could say warrior spirit, online or back online, you know, recovering it from the past, mm. but obviously in a, in a, in a form that's uh, about serving mm. the whole. And um, so that's, yeah, that's one of the things, you know, has a, um, I have to say, so, so if we, if we are able to allow, so let's talk about anger, fear, they're the most intense ones, sexual lust, right, can't get more intense than that and powerful than that, right, so when those emotions are just identified with, right, they take over, we become, we lose control, so to speak, and we become, ra in, you know, rage is is when it be anger comes out of control. We're terrified, or we become just a sexual animal who could potentially rape a woman, or will objectify a woman, and it'll be about getting our own pleasure, right? So, so um, those three uh, areas. In most traditional spiritual approaches, you see, they are recognized as being, uh, you know, dangerous, right? We need, we need to become more conscious, but they're often denied, you see, repressed. And um, same with anger, like I was just saying, but also sexuality. And fear, you see, there's, you see, when you really allow yourself to feel fear, but without collapsing, mm -hmm. it's very enlivening. Yeah. It's very, and you can feel completely alive. You know, it's like a metaphor I always think of is: imagine you're in a war, and you're pa you're a parachuter, parachute. You know, you parachute into mil into enemy territory, mm -hmm. right? And you, you know, and you've got your disguise, and you're pa you know you're pretending you're a whoever. But imagine yeah, every moment you're awake, mm -hmm. right? So that's one metaphor for what it, you could say it would mean to be spiritually awake, you know. But the fear can, when it's embraced, is a source of great clarity. Mm -hmm. You know, you you become super aware in a way you were not ordinarily. And it's impossible yeah. to fight as a warrior be, uh, without being angry or feeling angry. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's not only uh, to do with that.
But we'll go more into that. We're going to go more into that if tomorrow. The context changes. Life as you know it is from one day to the other changes. Everything changes, and mm. all of that uh, that energy comes up. Yeah, it's really what whatever is required yeah. in any moment. Yeah. So you know, a, a, a sort of positive. So, so this teaching of letting everything be as it is, right? So it means that anger arises. Instead of like, I shouldn't be feeling this, right? It's like, no, it's here. This is what is. Allow yourself to feel it. And then, of course, the challenge is not to just unconsciously dramatize it. Mm -hmm. You open a bigger space in yourself to conduct that energy. That's why the breathing is also important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why? And then you start to get in touch with what, why. What 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 is behind this anger? And you might just then you can start to discriminate. Actually, it's just my fear. Is it useful or not? Yeah, but or actually, it's like no. A strong response is called for right now, and it's not me as an ego calling for it. It's consciousness itself is calling. You know, and you see, this is the way we can start to positively uh, own our emotional experience. You see liberate out liberate